What's up, everybody? Nate from In Between Media. I want to talk a little bit about Mac Jones here real quick, coming into week one. I know everybody's saying, hold off on the hype. I'm going to say, I think we're all going to be incredibly surprised at Mac Jones' numbers at the end of week one this season. And I think that by week three and week four, he's a guy that is a viable QB1 on your fantasy rosters. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm not. I'm just a Mac Jones truther, baby. Yo, Jack, what's going on, bro? Quinn Nay here. Uh, I said this to my boy Monaco the other day. If you don't know who Alex Monaco is, make sure to go check him out. He's the GOAT. But anyways, yeah, I'm not going to say Mac doesn't have it, but I have to see it first, right? Like, I'm not going to get too excited about all the preseason hype. We're talking about the NFL here. Could he do it? Maybe. I definitely am saying... I'm more on the side he's not going to right now, personally. But I'm happy to be proven wrong. So we'll see what happens. But I'm more on Mac Jones's and Nate, my man, it's Zach from Breaking Down the Tape. To be honest with you, man, I ain't going to be surprised by shit. The only reason I'm going to be surprised is if Mac Jones is terrible. I've been saying this from the draft. I think he's the real deal. I think he's he's the consummate quarterback that New England needs. And he's going to thrive in that situation and thrive in ways the rest of the NFL does not want to see. I know Ghosty Boy is probably going to hop on this and come after me, but I've been riding Matt Jones for a bit now, man. He's going to kill it. I'm in on the hype, man. I had Last year, I was not exactly in on Herbert before the draft process or post-draft process, to be perfectly honest. But, um, man, I, I hedged, got a couple shares of him, and he was one of the biggest reasons I won my home league last year. And I, I kind of had the same process with Mac this year, but... I hedged again. <laughs> Yo, Nate, what's going on? It's Rumboys Robbie of the Rumboys Fantasy Network. Um, really quick, man, you're 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 absolutely correct. I do believe that Mac Jones will be better a lot sooner than later um, than what a lot of people are, are thinking. We have to take into account that Belichick is the coach. Um, the two tight end sets are going to be reinvigorated with John New and Henry there. Jacoby Myers should take a leap. I'm excited to see this running back, these running backs, because now the quarterback's not vulturing away from them. Yo, sports me, Bo McBig time here. Again, pump the brakes on Mac Jones. We're talking about a rookie quarterback who faced no adversity last year, had the best wide receiver core probably ever compiled, and his receiving core in New England stinks. Jonu Smith's his best receiver. Ew. Yeah, pump the brakes on Mac Jones being good this year. I don't think that team wins more than nine games. No matter how good their defense is, they're just direct of weapons. So I agree. I think Mac Jones will have a decent season because Bill Belichick's going to put him in a, in a place to be successful. Let's not forget that Bill Belichick won 11 games with Matt Castle. He knows how to use his talent. That's, that's kind of his thing. And they'll have a good defense and they'll have a good offensive line like they always do. So it'll be a great situation for him. So... While he does well, I'm not sure if I'll go ahead and, and, and anoint Mac Jones as a, as a great quarterback yet because, again, Matt Castle. Got to wait.